welcome back. Today we're going to do a comparison of alternatives to Citadel's Lead Belcher Hobby Spray Paint. This is an infamous paint that we're all very familiar with, or at least almost all of us are, that's used for the backbone of a variety of armies, especially things like Space Marines or Grey Knights. It's a medium dark uh, metallic silver that it just has a fantastic coverage, great quality, great paint. So here are our contenders, all lined up and ready to go. These are a collection that I've had for a while that I've just decided to break out and do this quick video about. So I've laid everything out using identical pieces from this toy, which is a construction pipe kit made for kids that is actually really useful for terrain kits and other stuff. And I've labeled the back with numbers so that I know what's what after I paint them all up. So what we're going to be comparing today is Krylon Color Master Brilliant Aluminum, Rustoleum Flat Soft Iron, Rustoleum Brilliant Metallic Charcoal, Vallejo Hobby Paint Gunmetal, Citadel Lead Belcher, and Rustoleum Flat Antique Nickel. All right. And here they're all laid out, and the numbers are still on the back. I didn't accidentally paint over them, which will be very helpful in figuring out our results for this test. So I'm also going to use this Citadel scraper and do some scrape tests on these pieces. These pieces are all part of that toy kit, and they really are handy for doing a variety of terrain and builds. So first off, you can see that this Krylon aluminum isn't even in the same color category as the rest. It turned out almost chrome. And well, uh, it scrapes off. It, it stuck pretty good, but of course, you know, I, I could scrape even the plastic with that scraper, so off it comes. Uh, now I'm gonna try and scrape it with my fingernail and see how that goes. And it actually sticks pretty good. Uh, the Krylon paints, especially those Color Master, which are paint and primer together, are really good for adhering. This is the Rust-Oleum Flat Iron. Uh, it's dark and kind of didn't get a lot of coverage. Uh, it's also a little bit thin and kind of glittery, and it's got a lot of texture to it. Uh, scrapes off pretty easy, and it's kind of a little bit on the gummy side still. And I kind of even get a little bit off with my fingernail. So not really good adherage on that, on this shiny, unprimed plastic. So this one was the biggest surprise. This is the metallic charcoal brilliant finish from Rust-Oleum. And it's kind of almost watery or greasy looking with a really glossy finish. Might be handy for some things. Uh, the metallic is kind of in the background. Um, and it's still kind of gummy and not really even set. Like I can press a fingerprint into it, which is kind of surprising. Uh, scrapes off uh, easier than pretty much the rest of them. Uh, and yeah, easy to get off even with a fingernail. Not happy with that. Not sure what I would use it for. Maybe it's useful for something. Not sure what. Um, got all of my fingers here. This is the Vallejo Gunmetal, Hobby Paint Gunmetal. It's a fantastic spray, nice even coverage, uh, kind of a flat metallic quality to it. Uh, maybe uh, it comes in different finishes, I'm not sure, but it's just fantastic, smooth, buttery quality all the way. You know, good coverage, good even quality there. Um, looks like it adheres really strongly. I'm really happy with generally how it, how it sticks to the piece. Keep in mind, these are unprimed glossy plastic probably the worst case scenario for just spray painting with spray directly uh, so the fact that any of these stick is still pretty great but yeah this one holds up great really happy with it and then of course our good old fan lead belcher it's a little bit darker and a little bit glossier and maybe just a little bit more metallic than the vallejo gunmetal but really really they're super close between the two of them it's a fantastic color. Lead Belcher really gives a great, unique look uh, that we, we all have known and loved. And, you know, frankly, having a spray paint that matches up to the paint-on-paint 
identically is really really handy for you know for larger like batch processing of things like necrons or vehicles that kind of thing uh, if it wasn't for the cost I would use this all the time nice and solid and then last up we have the rustoleum flat antique nickel uh, it's a very interesting kind of almost textured paint I'm not sure if that's because of how old my can is, but I don't think so. I seem to remember it always coming out this way. Uh, very, very glittery. Um, not as gummy as some of the other rust oleums, but still doesn't stick very, very well. And, you know, it comes off with both fingernail and scraper. It sticks a little better than the other stuff, but, you know, generally the rust oleum line, I'm not all that happy with, to be honest. Uh, probably won't use them for much hobby stuff overall going forward just because of that kind of how long it, they remain tacky. So here's some close-ups. So on this, this is the Krylon aluminum and you'll actually see a little bit of texture there if you look closely. That isn't from the Krylon aluminum. That's overspray from the flat iron from Rust-Oleum that happened to carry over and then I sprayed over it again with a, a Krylon aluminum. So you can see this is a thick textured you know flaked paint with a lot of stuff to it maybe that's a look you're looking for if you want some really greasy old uh, looking equipment might be a good base for you um, or maybe even like a creature shell or something like that might be useful for that especially this this metallic charcoal it's almost greasy looking so here's the Vallejo gunmetal nice and smooth totally even Great coverage. Really happy with it. And of course, Lead Belcher, which we should all know and love by this point. Maybe again, a little bit darker, a little bit glossier, and a little more metallic than the Vallejo, but pretty darn identical. Maybe a little bit of different pooling. I think the Vallejo is a little smoother and more even overall. And then the rest oleum flat iron antique nickel. Up close, you can see the texture in that. It's it's pretty extreme. It's like almost almost a fully textured paint. Uh, you could feel it more than you can see it even. I'd be interested to see how uh, washing a dry brush on that. But these two, they're buddies, practically identical. So there's the lineup, and there was the test. I hope this was helpful for you and that you can make choices about uh, what you want to use moving forward. I'll probably be using Vallejo uh, Hobby Metal or Hobby Paint Gun Metal for my projects just because the cost and quality is really the best of the lot. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your builds.